Good morning from Fukui, Japan. It is 7 a.m. and I would like you to imagine that it is about 250 million years ago and you're a dinosaur and you're wandering around Japan. Well, here you are today. This area is the best place in Japan for finding dinosaur fossils. In the 80s, a bunch of dinosaur fossils were found. So now this place is kind of dinosaur crazy because they're proud of it, because of course you would be. So they got these great like animatronic uh, dinosaurs here. Also the station, Fukui Station, is covered in dinosaur murals and stuff. It's really, really cool. Best of all for me is that there is a train called Dinostar. It is a very mysterious train. I'll explain once we get on board why it's so strange, why I think it's so unusual, and why I'm lucky to be taking it today because this is one of the last chances for me to take it. But I got to make sure that I can find a ticket. I, hope, I don't even know if the ticket window is open at this early hour, but we'll go see if I can find tickets on the Dinostar. Fukuisaurus. Unbelievable. There's actually a dinosaur called Fukuisaurus. Uh, ありますか。はい。どこまで金沢まで。金沢まで。うん。指定席ありますか。うん。片道でよろしいですか。うん。そしてあの指定席、あ、左のまでありますか。はい、ありがとうございます。はい。Okay, got it. Okay, got it. About uh, 30 minutes till it leaves. I'm up early because Dinostar is an infrequent service and I had no choice. It was rush hour in Fukui, but compared to Osaka, this rush hour is not so bad. Plus, the whimsical touches in the station made it kind of a fun place to be. I got a cold coffee from a vending machine on the platform and waited for the Dinostar to arrive. Okay, here it is. This is my car, car number three. This orange stripe right here, that's the reason that I find this train so baffling. This train only runs three times a day, twice in the morning from here to Kanazawa, and then once in the evening back from Kanazawa to here. All day long it doesn't run. I have read the Wikipedia page, I've translated the Japanese Wikipedia page, I've read the official page for this route for the Dinostar. Uh, I cannot really understand why it exists. From what I can understand is that there's a train called Thunderbird, which I did in a recent video. The Thunderbird goes from Osaka up to Kanazawa and back and forth. This one is apparently like a mini Thunderbird, only for this one little part. So it's exactly like the Thunderbird. It's the same train as the Thunderbird, except for there's an orange stripe, whereas on the Thunderbird there was only a blue stripe. That seems like a very, 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 very minor difference to me. But that's what distinguishes this. That's why this is the Dinostar. I'd been assuming that the Dinostar, which began in 2015, was created to handle some large crowds heading up to Kanazawa every morning. Well, I was wrong. There were hardly any other people on board with me. Seat 9A, though, had a nice view through a big window, and I felt lucky to be here. And the reason I'm lucky to be taking this train is that in about seven months from now, it's going to be discontinued. There's going to be no more Dinostar service. I thought the whole reason this existed was because so many business people needed to go between Fukui and Kanazawa every morning, but there's like nobody, almost nobody else on this car. So that's not it. So if I were JR, I'd probably discontinue this too. Actually, if I were JR, what I would do is paint dinosaurs on the side and make it like a cool touristy thing to do, or at least interesting. No dinosaurs on this train. Just me. I like the scenery already. This feels a little bit older and more ramshackle and run down than a Thunderbird. The Thunderbird did when I took that recently. But here's what we have in the seat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Little 
device that goes up and down. The usual tray. I remember the Thunderbird had like two drink holder holes. I didn't know why. This one only has one. A sign that it's older. Little tiny tray for coffee, which I do have. It does recline, and there's nobody behind me, I think. That style. So I'm going to wander around and see what the facilities look like. Okay, so you got your urinal for men, you have a bathroom for everybody. Yes, I can tell this is a uh, an older train. This is a very, very small bathroom. They've, they've built them much bigger, uh, despite it being a train on newer trains. A very small toilet with no bidet and washlet type controls. A very small sink the baby harness. So yeah, this is uh, definitely a step down from uh, other trains, other newer trains I've taken recently. Not complaining, it's fine with me, just saying. And across the hall, the sink, my beloved sink, the automatic water. Put your hand in and it starts. And the soap and no towels. Over here, a little place to hang out. It's not a smoking area because they don't have those on board. By the way, thank you to everybody who's subscribing to my free email newsletter and to who's supporting this channel on Patreon. Special thanks to Will Phillips. The scenery was all bright sunny fields and large tree-covered hills. I watched it all go by while enjoying my eccentric snack, the can of cold coffee, and some raw vegetable sticks left over from my convenience store dinner in my hotel last night. We're only about 10 minutes away. This has been a pretty short ride, but in just a second, I think we're going to be able to see the ocean, the Japan Sea, right outside the window. According to the map, anyway. I'm not sure we can see it, I hope so. Well, I was let down. As so often happens in Japan, bleak, large-scale industrialization won out over the promise of a pleasant human experience. Just beyond all of this is the Big Blue Sea, but you can't view it from the Dynastar. After the 51 minute ride, which arrived on time, I inquired a little further about the fate of this train with the driver. He said that JR was selling off this section of line to another company, the IR Ishikawa Railway, and that's why Dynastar was going away. Dynastar wa rainen no sangetsu de owarimasu ka? Yeah. Arigato. The Dynastar. What a strange thing. 
A little bit worn, a little bit old, but still nice, still all right. Very few people on board. Only runs a couple times a day and uh, like the dinosaurs, doomed. Well, thanks for riding with me on the Dinostar. We got to experience a train that will soon be no more. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.